My name is Sam Brace. I am the Senior Director of Customer Education and Community at Cloudinary. And in this walkthrough, we're going to be showing up another amazing generative AI feature coming from Cloudinary's product and R&D teams known as Generative Restore. Joining me today for this walkthrough is Aditya and Paul from our product marketing team. And I got to say, Aditya, I am very excited by this because it seems to be a great way to be able to restore some of the various parts of imagery to make sure we're bringing it to today's visual display standards. You hit the nail on the head there. Yes, Generative Restore is about using generative AI to fix image quality issues. So think of scenarios where you may want to repurpose an older image or even user-generated content for a, a brand new campaign. And this is much faster than having to create a new image or visual from scratch. So Cloud really wants to help brands do this effectively. Oftentimes, the big challenge here is that um, older imagery has severe compression artifacts due to repeated digital manipulation. They may even have issues like grainy or blurry pixels. And this renders them ineffective for production use, especially when you think about uh, brands who want to visually engage their customers. They can't afford to have sub-quality uh, imagery out there. And, and it's the same with user-generated content as well. Often these are super powerful in uh, building customer trust and loyalty, but the imagery may not be of the highest quality and standards. And with generative AI from Cloudinary, you can now remove all of these quality issues automatically. So it's simply embedding a specific parameter in the URL, and you can easily improve the quality of that image. As you can see in the screenshot, the image would look visually more clear, it's richer. And one of the benefits, of course, with Cloudinary is that you can do this programmatically, so that means you can apply changes at scale for hundreds or thousands of images, if that is indeed the use case for you. So yeah, we're really excited about this. I'm really excited by this too. And I mean, I'm sure that everybody is in that camp at some point in their lives where they have to get an image, it's sent by somebody, it's blurry, it's not what they wanted it to be. Maybe they are trying to pull up an image, as we said, that was just taken before things were just readily available through phones and the amount of megapixels that we can now be able to take things with. So the fact that we can bring things back up to today's standards and do it as simply as what you described, Aditya, that's fantastic news for, I mean, selfishly for myself <laughs> as a Cloudinary user, but hopefully for the many, the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of Cloudinary users that are using our products today. So Paul, I do want to ask you, how is this possible? Well, this is just one of our many new generative AI features. There's a pretty good blog post on our site. If you guys are interested in checking out a little bit, you know, how it works behind the scenes, but effectively it's using generative models to effectively look at an image, trying to determine what pixels are blurred, which ones may be damaged. And then using AI, it's going to come back and correct that image. So this, we talked about UGC as a very strong use case for this. And, and again, this is a very practical application of generative AI, where it's a real world problem. You have old artifacted images that you want to be able to restore. Or if you have the UGC, you might have someone who might have some compression turned on on their phone. The phone might be a little bit older and you might be getting images like what you're seeing here, right? And so, like Aditya mentioned, it's a very simple, straightforward approach. So this is before and after. You can see just with some subtle changes just how much clearer this image is, right? And this is all done on the URL by simply passing E Gen Restore. For those of you who watch these videos, you're probably familiar with the URL API. So that, that's all it is, is really just applying this E Gen Restore command. If you're using the SDKs, you can check out the documentation. Syntax is a little bit different. But to say it's Gen Restore, it's going to give you the URL that's corrected. And again, it's all done with generative AI. There's no tuning. It knows what to do based upon the contents of the image. Here's another example here, maybe something that's being done by a car dealership to post on their website. You can see just the subtle quality changes make a huge difference for this type of image. I just want to call out using like kind of a, a niche example, like a really old photograph, right? This is just showing the power of it. What we like to do is like to say like the generous store is very powerful, but it's even more powerful when you combine it with some of our existing transformations, in particular, e-improve. 
So generous store is going to do what we talked about. It's going to use the generative models to look at an image. It's going to determine what to improve. And then if you're using something like e-improve, which it's applying all the white correction, all that stuff. So this is a great example here. This is a great old image, but as you can see, it's kind of dark. We go in here and we apply and the next rendition. We apply the, the generous store. And if you're looking closely, you can definitely see those improvements happening, but this image is old. It's not lit really well. So here we simply apply E, e improve on, on top of E generous store. And you can see the vast difference in quality from the original to this improvement. It really brings this old image to light. It's kind of an edge example, but it's really highlighting the power of the generative features plus our existing transformations. Like I mentioned, it's all over here in the documentation site, our great documentation. You can just come in here and search for generative restore. You'll find everything we have here, how to use it, some notes on using it. So really powerful tool. And again, it's another step forward in our API SDK based generative AI features. I love it. And I, I love the fact that you've combined transformations with this generative restore mm -hmm. transformation as well, because in other examples, I saw you were applying one of our best transformations, F auto, as well as Q auto into those to make sure not only were you generally restoring the image, yes. but we're also ensuring that it's optimized at the right format, at the right compression and quality level. So it, to the fact that you used e improve this is also reiterating the fact that you are able to use AI-based transformations through Cloud Neary with many of the ones that you probably have used in previous iterations of work you've done with Cloud Neary. 